Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May wrap up video and talking about the books that I read in the month of May. Unfortunately, I hit a bit of a reading slump in May and I'm still going through it a little bit where I didn't get through as many books as I wanted to. I ended up reading two different graphic novels. I read Saga Volume 2 and I read Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me. I had been curious about Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me because I had heard every Everyone talking about reading it but I thought it was okay I think I gave it about a three stars um, but it wasn't anything that I needed to read and if there's a sequel I probably won't read it but it's a cute young adult novel about a girl that falls in love with another girl and that girl is Laura Dean and Laura Dean keeps cheating on her and breaking up with her and just being generally a really bad partner and a pretty toxic person so I think we've all well not all of us but I think a lot of us have gone through something like that so it's definitely relatable and I think so I think it's definitely relatable and definitely relatable to kids in high school so I can see the appeal there I also read Saga volume 2 everyone loves this series and I find it enjoyable I think you give it like a 3 0.5 or 4 stars. It's a good fun series, but it's just not a graphic novel that I'm dying for like everyone else is. It's fun, the artwork is really great, and it deals with a lot of real world issues in a graphic novel form, which graphic novels do tend to do. But it's just not, for whatever reason, it's just not my cup of tea. I don't love it, but I have been reading it just on my Kindle app, so I think if I can get the books from my library, I might as well and, and just kind of keep up with it. It's good, it's just not my favorite. I also read a couple books for Asian Readathon. Now I read Little Fires Everywhere as an audiobook and it is an amazing audiobook. I don't usually like to read fiction audiobooks. I prefer to read fiction either physical or on my Kindle. But the narration was amazing. The story was really good. I didn't get hooked quite at first but the more I read it the more hooked I got and it wasn't that long of a novel I don't think I don't know I don't think it was a very long novel but I could be mistaken I read it mostly on my trips in my car or whenever I would take walks outside and it was it was really good it wasn't like a crazy thriller story but it's definitely a story that keeps you wanting more because there's always a little bit more to discover and you're always wondering like oh what's gonna happen next and it's very much based on relationships not just romantic ones but relationships between you know landlord tenant friends you know boss superior and other covert things that kind of go on in the novel it's it's really good i do recommend it celeste ng is the author and she did a fantastic job as soon as i finished reading it i watched the tv show on hulu and it's amazing and it's really well done. Reese Witherspoon and her production company have a great way of picking really great novels to turn into TV shows or movies. So highly recommend that one. I think I gave that one like a 4.5 or 5 stars. Not usually something that I would pick, but definitely a great recommendation for the Asian Readathon. The other book that I read in the Asian Readathon, as you might already know, was Wicked Fox. This book is one that comes highly recommended by one of my favorite book tours, and that's Books with Chloe. It's about a gumiho that loses her gumiho bead, which is like her soul and she has to find a way to put it back inside of her but she also ends up making human connection and falling in love with a human boy which is, which is in the summary so it's not really a spoiler and discovering more about you know her mother and her life as a gumiho and what happened and this is this is actually a, it is a good book I just felt like it took half of the book to get really into the plot and into the actual thick of things where things get really interesting so I had a hard time getting through it quickly but once I hit that 200 page mark I just went right through it so if you like really slow burning books like really slow burning book this may be the one for you but for me I just didn't love it as much I do love that you get little tidbits of folklore throughout the story like the story will go on but then it'll stop and tell you little things about Umiho's and the folklore and how it ties in with the book and it'll give you these breadcrumbs that I really did enjoy but I did find that it was a bit of a slow burn I know that there is a sequel to this I think it's a spin-off about another character in this book. I'm not really interested in reading that one but this book was pretty good. I would say if you're looking to read a book about kumihos and Korean folklore this is definitely a good pick. It's a young adult fantasy novel and so far it's gotten really good reviews and it's just not my absolute favorite novel that I've read. So that's it for the month of May. This is gonna be a really short and sweet video but, but that's all I really ended up reading. I, I just wasn't as motivated. I'm hoping 
for the month of June that I'll be more motivated to read more but we'll see I think as the summer rolls around I want to be outside more and doing fun things but I'm trying to read as much as I can so that when we're finally free and able to go back outside I will have gotten my fill of books so I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I've been reading and what I liked what I didn't like if you read any of the books that I mentioned please let me know please comment down below and if you like this video and you like the other videos on my channel please go ahead and like this video and please subscribe to my channel as it really does help support my channel thank you 